Hello, this is Hannah, and welcome to Learning Computer Basics. We were talking about icons today and the different types of icons. Now, basically, what I was talking about was you have the one, the file or folder icon, which would be here right on the bottom. This one right here would be a Word document, which I called Phone List. And this is a folder icon, which, like I had mentioned, looks just like a folder that you would get at your um, home. Uh, office supply store or you possibly have them in your home office and basically right up here are your application icons I've got Microsoft Word we've got Firefox we've got Inter uh, Internet Explorer we've got a calculator all these programs actually do is they actually run some type of program do something for you for instance you would make a letter in uh, Microsoft Word uh, you would uh, browse the internet with these two you would do mathematical calculations with your calculator now for instance when you make a Word document um, like I had done here I had made a phone list and at this point that would be called a file icon you see the Word document and it's called phone list the names down here now when you have it on your desktop usually this is something that you're probably going to be using on a regular basics basis and for instance if you double click on it you can bring your phone numbers up and you can add delete what have you and you go over here and you save that once you're done okay now um, basically here is your phone list here is your folder icon and like I was mentioning in the examples some families like to have um, different folders on the desktop because they're all sharing the same computer but they don't want everybody else messing with their things um, like for instance dad with his QuickBooks or mom with her Photoshop with her scrapbooking um, they can either put their actual uh, files or they can actually put their programs into their folders or they can put their websites into their folders basically you go onto the desktop and you want to right click on your desktop and you go down to new and you should see a folder or new and uh, it would bring a folder right on your desktop and as you can tell it's all blue that makes it where I can name it we can name it like we had it on the example mom's folder click on the desktop and it's done now let's for instance say mom wants that phone list in her folder <coughs> because um, she this is her phone list and she doesn't want anybody else touching it um, you would go up here to mom's phone list you would click on it where you could highlight it and you keep your finger down pressing down on the mouse you do not release it and you move your mouse down while you're keeping your finger down and you put it right over mom's folder and then you lift up your finger to release it and it's almost like it disappears but it didn't it didn't disappear it's actually inside of mom's folders and you can do this with these application icons up here too okay you can grab Firefox you can move it into mom's folder okay and what you can see in mom's folders when you double click it you can open it there's the Firefox there's the phone list and there you got it and um, let's say for example um, <coughs> you've decided that you know what I don't need a mom's folder I want to get rid of this um, so we would double click it let's say we want to keep our phone list and we want to keep our Firefox icon you would do the same thing when you were dragging the other ones you would highlight the Firefox keep your finger down move it all the way up to your desktop and release it you would do the same thing with your phone list you click it hold it down move it all the way up to your desktop and you release it and you go over here to the right side you get on this little X right here where it says close you close it you've got your mom's folder here highlight it again right click again where we can get rid of this folder and it goes down to delete by the way if you for some reason are trying to name a folder and you did a typo or you named it something that you want to change the name or whatever there is a rename option you can click the rename option and that blue will come up will give you the option of renaming it but we want to delete it we right click it again 
delete and it's going to ask you are you sure yes and it's gone and here is your word here is your phone list here is your Firefox and like I said again these are the differences between the file and folder icons and your application icons and that's all there is for icons tonight thank you